guys and welcome. So I'll be performing electrical load calculations and I'll be showing you how you approach it step by step. All right. So this presentation was brought to you by the Visionary Society of Engineers. All right. So please subscribe and like this video. I'll be showing you how you approach electrical load demand calculation. Right? So first thing let me go by reading the question. So what is the demand load in VA for multi-family dwelling unit having a total connected general purpose receptacle and light loads of 13 1500 BA and a total connected and laundry branch circuit loads of 27,000 BA. All right, so we're going to use a general method calculation. So, in the general method calculation, pretty much is a standard approach that we use in calculating electrical loads. So, first thing first, we're going to start off with the first steps of finding the total demand all right or rather the total electrical loads as it is given in the question all right so within this question we have the lighting and receptacle loads of 13,500 BA and the larger loads of 27,000 BA in this multi-family dwelling all right so the total loads in question is 40,500 BA. All right, and then proceeding, we should calculate the demand load. So in the demand calculation, we're looking for a certain percentage of the load, right? So in calculating the demand, right, of this load, we should first take 3000 VA at 100% and the remaining at 35%. So 100% of the first 3000 VA is going to equivalent to 3000 VA. All right, and then we shall take 35% of the remainders, all right, from the total loads, all right? So First thing, our load was calculated to be um, 40%, right? So the remainder from 3,000 VA from 40,000 would have been 37,500. All right, so 35% of 37,500 VA would have been equal to 13,125 VA. Therefore, our final demand when taking the total of 3000 VA at 100% and 37,500 VA at 35%, which is equal to 13,125 VA. All right, the sum of amount of these two values. 3000 and 13,125 is equal to 16,125 BA. All right, so that is the approach to find the load demand calculation. All right, so that wraps up our question. So, guys, please like, um, subscribe, and share. All right, so when you give us your subscription or your likes, Bear in mind that we will continue to do more videos like this for you. So stay tuned and take care.